is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today it is time for the updated wwe figure display guys i have rearranged i have sorted i have configured i have moved them around we got them all all around the freaking room we got the ladies on display finally i know a lot of people have been harassing me i do have a gap over there that we're going to address but that's besides the point we're going to take you through the entire thing guys i don't know how long it's going to take i'm going to do my best to get all the way through it but I know that I need to do this updated video because I have made changes, I've moved around, and you guys will see those. So I guess what we can do is start off with this section because it's the best section. We'll start off in this section, then we'll go over there to the AJ Styles, the Undertakers, the all that good stuff. Then we'll go to the rosters, and then we will finish off with the uh, little display I have over here. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started with, uh, I guess we can start down here in the corner with Seth freaking Rollins. All right, guys, so starting things off with Seth Rollins in the bottom left corner. You guys know how I set up my display. I do it in timeline order. So uh, we have to start off with NXT right here. I need to get some Tyler Blacks, but that would require more space for Seth Rollins. But anyways, you guys can see, we go from NXT, then we go into the Shield Seth Rollins, then we have the singles versions. I am missing the Elite 25 with the ponytail. I need to get that. I have the figure. I just broke it down into parts. But we have a few customs going right here. We have some defining moments of Seth Rollins and stuff. We got his 2015 run going on into his SummerSlam. I know you guys are probably like, why the hell do you have so many white Seth Rollins? Well, um, a few of them are fix-ups, a few of them are customs uh, slash different looks, and then we have some figures that I will use in the future for customs, like if he rocks a white base attire, I can come over here, grab an Elite 45 Seth Rollins off the shelf, use that instead of having to purchase one. I already have one in the bank ready to go to uh, customize the stuff. In the corner right there, that is uh, the one facing the right there, the, the one with the suit on. That one right there, yeah, he, uh, he is the Slammy Award 2015 Seth Rollins. Right here we have the TNF with a head swap. Love that fix up looking good. All these different TNFs. We have the Shield 3 pack with the you know the different variant gray. I did paint the knee pads right here to make it accurate because that, that looks stupid. Coming across we got Elite F Series 52 except for this one. This one right here is the brand new 2019 Top Talents with the you know the good head scan on there. Got a few Elite 52s. Again if you see multiples of one figure it's for future customs so that is the reason I have so many. We have the Elite Series 57 Seth. We got the SummerSlam Elite in the red, got a nice fix up in there. Elite Series 64, we got some top talent, some different fix ups and stuff. You guys can tell that Seth Rollins is one of my favorite wrestlers, so that is the reason I have so many of them. You know, customs and stuff of that nature will be coming in the future. We got a Mania 34 Seth. We have some more sets right here. Let's go ahead and move this Finn Balor. We'll take a look at him in a second. But uh, the, the thing that sucks is that the computer does get in the way right here. My brand new desktop computer. This is where all the all the magic happens. So it does get in the way right here. So that's kind of unfortunate. But we do have, you know, uh, money. In, we got WrestleMania 34, Money in the Bank 2018, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble 2019, WrestleMania 35. And then we have some fantasy attires right here. Look beautiful. I love that Punisher Seth Rollins at the end. And then we have an extra elite Seth Rollins back here for a future custom. And then on this bottom shelf, guys, this isn't really any order, but we have some just like current roster guys like the Revival, Mojo Raleigh, Lars Sullivan, Kurt Hawkins, Elias. You guys get the point. Just uh, Matt Riddle custom right there. So this is more of guys that are, I don't know what Ty Dillinger's doing in there. He's with AEW now, but you got Ricochet, Mustafa Ali. Gargano and Ciampa, Undisputed Era, Leo Rush, Tyler Bates. So see, these are just more current guys. If I don't have multiples, I didn't really have anything to fill up this section with, so I went ahead and went with uh, just, just more current roster guys so they're right here available to grab off the shelf. So that is the reason I do that for future videos. If we go up one section, guys, you will see that we are onto the edges. This is the edge portion. Uh, edge is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so we got all his different figures. The ones in the two, uh, the two in the back are custom figures. I also have another one on the MDT live roster shelf that you guys will see later on. Here we have the John Moxley slash Dean Ambrose section. Yes, guys, I actually have a, quite a few of Dean Ambrose figures starting. You see it goes in timeline order. You have the shield into his singles run, uh, into his singles run, back with the shield, back into his singles run. This is a custom that I used for my pick fed, and then, you know, I never cleaned it up. Need to head swap that or something because I'm pretty sure the paint's set in by now. But that's all the different Dean Ambrose. I'm super excited for him in AEW. I think that's fantastic. If you guys missed the show on Saturday night, definitely go check out Double or Nothing and John Moxley. Over here, we got the New Day starting up, guys. We have Xavier Woods, all his figures. I am missing his brand new Elite because uh, it's actually on the MDT Live roster shelf. We have duplicates of Big E and Kofi, so those feel in nice. We got Big E's figures. I am missing a few of his. We got Kofi. I'm missing one of his because I had to use one for a torso swap, so there's all of the Kofi Kingston figures. Going into the middle, we do have a Batman Finn Balor that could not fit on the Finn Balor shelf, much like this WrestleMania 35 Finn Balor that we'll take a look at when we get to Finn. But here's the KO section. Kevin Owens is one of my favorite wrestlers. 
wrestlers as well. If you guys didn't notice, I mean, let's let's just get this out of the way. Any guy that's in the middle right here are my favorite wrestlers in the world, so that's why I have them in the middle. You guys will see that later on. And then over here, we have like some of my other favorite wrestlers, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Anyways, guys, getting into it, we have Kevin Owens sections. We have one independent Kevin Owens right there, which is Kevin Steen, and then we go into his NXT runs. You got a couple of duplicates of his figures going up into the main roster. Then you got his 2017 looks, all the different customs and fix-ups. These figures are very similar besides like a few kick pad and wrist tape changes. But I mean, most of them are just t-shirt changes and decals and stuff of that nature. So you guys will see the t-shirts sort of change over time. You got some different KOs, different KOs, keep going, keep going. Then we got a couple of uh, fantasy attires right here and the pink, I love those so much. Those look fantastic. We got some more customs in the works. And then we have the updated Kevin Owens with the tattoos right there. Love Kevin Owens to death. Love his figures. They're very fun to pose around and use in the pick fed. So Kevin Owens is current MDT Extreme Champion. So he's looking beautiful right there. Got all the KOs. Going into the corner, guys, we do have Sting. So we have a few Sting figures starting off with Surfer Sting going up into, you know, his match with Triple H at WrestleMania 31. So, you know, we have Surfer Sting back there. I did have his Great American Bash figure, but I used it for a custom, so I need to get that back in the collection. I would love to have, you know, a bunch of different Surfer Stings and Crow Stings and stuff, but it's just not a priority at this moment. We do have my Trash Corbin section right there. You got the custom Trash Can Corbin from my boy Fig Skip Custom, so shout out to you bro for that. I love that figure so much. One of my favorite figures in my collection. Moving up guys, we have the Beast in the Bank. We have Brock Lesnar, everybody's favorite wrestler. Again, in timeline order, you have, you know, here comes the pain slash debut all the way up to current day. Mr. Money in the Bank right there. Got his briefcase, got his contract ready to cash in. Absolutely terrible decision for them to do that, but you know it is what it is. We have all the beasts right there in the section. Moving on up guys, we do have the Shinsuke Nakamura section and one is missing because it's on the Vindication shelf but there we have a custom wrestlemania 34 elite shinsuke we got the nxt series we have the elite 57 going into the shane mcmahon's got a few shane mcmahon's in here nice looking i wish i could get the different looks of him because i love his jersey looks i think those are fantastic so i wish we would get more elites of that so moving on guys we do have uh, samoa joe samoa joseph right there got the elite uh, the gamestop exclusive fix up with that elite 64 head scan looking good love samoa joe love uh, his figures they're nice especially his brand new one coming into this section guys probably one of my favorite sections in my entire collection it is the finn Balor Elite Figure Collection. We got some non-Demon Fins, and then we, of course, have our Demon Fins. So we have a bunch of top talents right there. You guys will see it's four of the same, and that is for future customs that I am still working on. We got some fix-ups right there with the Ringside Exclusive. We have the brand new 2019 Top Talents. We have a bunch of customs here. You got Elimination Chamber 2018. You got Money in the Bank 2019, St. Patrick's Day Finn Balor, WrestleMania 34 Finn Balor. We got No Mercy Finn Balor. Live Event, White Attire, Finn Balor, Survivor Series 2017, Royal Rumble 2018, Extreme Rules 2017, Money in the Bank 2018, NXT TakeOver UK, Blackpool, Finn Balor, and then we get into the Demons. You got all his different Demon attires. These are all Mattel made because they use that terrible Daniel Bryan mold, and then we get into the better torso where, you know, they're ripped up, but we got NXT TakeOver Dallas, TakeOver The End, TLC 2017 where he took on AJ Styles. You got SummerSlam 2018, you got some Devits right here, we got Freddy Krueger Devits, Spawn Devitt, Punisher Devitt, Venom Devitt, Joker Devitt, Anti-Venom Devitt, Wrestle Kingdom Devitt, and then we have my fantasy attires at the end. You got the white Phantom, you got this random lime green and black, you have the Terminator, you have the It, and you have the Grinch. Those were all the MDT Custom of the Month Finn Balors that I started, and then I had to end because I didn't have any extras, but they're all the Finn Balors. So beautiful to look at, just looks so epic all on display together. And then here is the WrestleMania 35 Finn Balor with the Intercontinental Championship, all hand-painted by yours truly. See right there, got all the designs going on. Teeth on the back, got the monster logo on the back. I love this Finn Balor. I love this. I think it's a pretty nice custom, probably the best hand-paint job I've ever done on a figure, so I, I appreciate that a lot. I wish it could fit it on the shelf, but for now, it won't fit, so I just have to stick them right here on top of my computer. Moving on, guys, after we go to the Finn Balors, we get into the Chris Jericho section, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, starting in the back with debut Jericho, then you get... You know, Attitude Era, you got some different customs coming in into the mid-2000s, mid-2000s, later 2000s. Then you get into his current run. I need to get some New Japan Jerichos, some AEW Jerichos. I'm sure that will uh, obviously happen once we, you know, uh, find out what he's going to look like on weekly television if he shows up. You know, different stuff. Maybe we can 
get an AEW Jericho in here. Moving into the middle, we uh, I really didn't have a spot for this, so I just figured throw the Usos in there. I do have some more Usos. I got the Elite 64 over on the, the roster shelf, but there's the Usos. Go, moving on, we have Braun Strowman's. Not very much going on with those. Just freaking repetitive every single figure. And we even have an Aiden English section, and I actually have another one of these. So I have four Elite Aiden Englishes, which is absolutely ridiculous. But there is the finish of this section. Moving on up, guys, we do have the Shawn Michaels section. We got the, you know, WrestleMania 25. You got Elite 7. You got some different throwback Shawn Michaels. Obviously, all these are throwbacks to Shawn Michaels, but they're beautiful. I, I want more of them, but, God, his figures are hard to track down, especially the Elite 3, the Elite 7. The different Shawn Michaels figures, guys, I mean, they're hard to track down, but we do have a few here. You got WrestleMania 12, WrestleMania 14, WrestleMania 10. He's Mr. WrestleMania, guys. What do you want? So we do have all the Shawn Michaels here. Moving over, guys, we have one of my favorite talents in WWE. We got Aleister Black right here. You have the NXT Target exclusive. You have a fantasy white attire made out of that figure. And then we have my custom Aleister Black from Mad Reaper. So I have three Aleister Blacks looking absolutely fantastic. Moving on, we have Samuel Zayn, one of my favorites. I love him to death, and I'm so happy that he is finally back. Hopefully we can get him in a main good storyline on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live. You know, with the wild card rule, nobody knows what the hell's going on, so you never know what show they're going to be on. So there's the few different Sami Zayn's. Also have an El Generico. Moving on, one of my favorite wrestlers, we have Kurt Angle here with all of his different figures. I swear, as soon as they got him back on a Legends deal, guys, we, Mattel has totally pumped out the Kurt Angle figures. I know that I do have a couple customs right here. Um, you got one from like 2001, and then you got uh, like a 2002, 2003 look of Kurt Angle, I do believe. And so we have his debut in the very back up to current day, up till Survivor Series that one year he was on the Raw team. So we have all the Kurt Angles. Moving on, we have Triple H, and a lot of his figures are similar, but uh, let's go ahead and go through it. Starting off, guys, we have Hunter Hearst Helmsley. We have three different of those. You got the coat on, the coat off. I want to turn those into different customs of Triple H. You got when uh, he, you know, broke off, became Triple H as a part of DX. Then you have his corporate run. You have his return in 2002. You have his evolution. You know the different red or the different rainbow colors. He had purple. He had red. He had blue. He had, you know, of course, black. He had, I want that 2003 Elimination Chamber attire where he, you know, eliminated Goldberg with the sledgehammer. We all, we have all his mid-2000s look, handlebar mustache, WrestleMania 20, different elites coming through. We got the Elite 7. You got the different uh, Toys R Us exclusive with the head swap. You got the mail-away Triple H, all the different shaved head looks of Triple H. A lot of these are meant to be customs one day. I just, you know, again, you know, when you're so busy and you're not focused on it, uh, time gets away with you and then you have just a bunch of Triple H chilling on the shelf when you could be turning them into customs There's my uh, fantasy white attire Triple H. We got the authority Triple H and then of course you guys saw down there We had the uh, the bearded authority Triple, more of an NXT leader Triple H So there's all the Triple H's moving over here. We got American Alpha do have a few Jason Jordans and Chad Gables I have another pair on the shelf over there We got the Miz's right here. I would like more Miz figures. I think his figures are pretty underrated we got the Bobby Roode section. I guess you could call this section glorious. Got the Robert Roode up front with the white robe. Moving up, guys, we do have Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Got the club. Got quite a few of those. All of those are elite. We got the Goldberg section there with the entrance grates, the uh, my custom, and then a main event ring one. And then who doesn't love a good R-Truth collection? So there's the R-Truth collection. I think that's every single R-Truth Elite. I could be wrong, but I think that is. We need an updated one, so Mattel, get on that one. Moving up a bit, I'm going to go ahead and knock out this section right now just because we're right here at the end. But we have Ultimate Warrior. You got the Ultimate Edition U Ultimate Warrior. I am missing a lot of Ultimate Warrior and Macho Men, but here they are. You have all the Warriors. You have all the Macho Men. You have Mankind. I am missing some faces of Foley here, some Foley figures, but they are there. That's all the ones I have. You got some X-Pac just because, you know, I had, you know, his different looks. So I figured go ahead and throw them up there. And then this section is blank unless you count my Hitman figure right there, which is absolutely beautiful. But that pretty much does it for this section. Going back down into the middle, we have my Randy Orton's, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. You got different attires. You have SummerSlam 2004, Armageddon 2003. A bunch of different looks here that are going to be customs in the future. Just different elites, different moments. I, I don't really want to name them all off. There's the uh, Shooting Star Press RKO, Bald Orton in the green right there with no wrist tape. But a lot of these are customs made by BEW Animations, which look fantastic. That's why you have all these different head scans and different trunks and stuff. You have WrestleMania 33, you got WrestleMania 34, white attire, fantasy. Randy Orton, you got another fantasy attire all the way up until his current Elite Series 67 figure. And I have a pair of Funko Pops. One of those is made by my boy Rodney on the right. 
And then you have the official pop on the left. But there's Randy Orton. More customs coming to that one soon. And I have another Randy Orton on the MDT Live shelf. Getting into the cane sections, guys. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I am missing a lot of canes, but I do love the look of these. All the different masks. Uh, I know that there's many attires I'm missing. There's many attires that I want to get. But, uh, you know, those figures are, I think Kane has some of the most expensive figures. I don't know what it is, but the ringside exclusives and the different ones that he has are expensive. And I know that just you have to get those and then you have to customize them to get the looks you want. So it's just not a priority, like I said, but I do have many Kanes. Moving on to the middle, you got one of my favorites of the Ruthless Aggression Era. We have Batista starting out with some evolutions into his singles run into the later 2000s into Blue Tista, which will be customs in the future. Again, just not priority right now. Then you have more of a current look Batista right there. Um, you got his leg tattoos and everything. That's a custom that I made a while back. Moving on, we have the greatest mask of all time. We got Rey Mysterio, all of his different looks through the years, starting with WCW, in through WWE, all the different looks he's had. Love that Elite 24 at the end, that Halloween looking Rey. There are a few Rays I'm missing, I'm pretty sure, so I need to get on top of that. But there are the Rey Mysterios. I guess we can do like we did on the other side, guys, and just move straight up so we can get it all knocked out. Here's the Stone Cold section, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. You got Stone Cold's, all of his different looks in the gear. You got got all his different looks in the shorts. He got all his different looks in the jeans. I mean, for him, you mostly got to get just different t-shirts and different hats with the shorts looks, with the, you know, I need the black shorts, I need the camo shorts. Um, I am missing quite a few here, but I think they look good on display. I just think they look fantastic. I love Stone Cold. I need to get the gold vest, you know, uh, with the gold braces. Need to get some snakeskin braces in here as well. So there's the Stone Colds. Then who doesn't love the Rock? So we have Mark Rocky Maivia going into the Nation of Domination, into the Corporation, and all the different looks of Rock, into Hollywood Rock, into all the way up till current day Rock. I want to get a custom made, you know, with his updated tattoo, but just like everything else in this video, just not a, not a priority. And finishing off this big section of figures, guys, we do, uh, we're going to go up to the right here before we go back to the middle. We have CM Punk. There's all my different punks. Missing men punks it's so sad to see one day we will complete this collection i'm gonna have to do a lot of rearranging for a lot of these because you know we're missing a ton of different guys but there's the cm punks then you know what would be a collection without the big dogs so we have all the big dogs you got a few customs at the end a bunch of fantasy attires if you join the bloodline over there you got all his different vest colors a lot of his figures are the same but you know i like collecting the roman reigns figures so there are all the different roman reigns from nxt through the shield, through the singles runs, all the different, you know, vest colors he's had over the years. I'm sure there's a few missing, but not going to take care of that at the moment. But there's the Roman Reigns section. And then coming to the middle, guys, my favorite wrestler of all time, we have the John Cena collection. And this starts from his debut on SmackDown, going through the Doctor of Thugonomics into his singles, you know, when he took over pretty much WrestleMania 21, winning the WWE Championship. All of his different looks to the mid-2000s when he got over to Raw in the draft lottery through his feuds with Edge into the later 2000s. Love all these different shirts and looks. I just love them. Mattel hasn't given them to us, so I had to get customs made. These are pretty old by now. I mean, they, these have been around since the beginning of my channel. So you have into 2009, into 2010, into 2011, into 2012, all of the different shirts. The Fruity Pebbles, Cena, all the different colored shirts. Coming down, we continue on into, you know, 2013, and you have all his different shirt looks. I just think the shirts with the Cenas look so good up on display. I just love the way it looks there. Then we have on to 2014, into the lime green, and then you have the red look, the red and yellow colorway into the blue colorway, the US champ is here, into the orange and green, need to get the green and orange version, then you have his 2016 return, 2017 respect, and then we have all the way up to current day, which is pretty much updated since he hasn't really changed his shirt except for that one time at Super Showdown, which looked absolutely awful. And then we have my Lance Catamaran Custom from Southpaw Regional Wrestling. And then this armband right here is actually an armband that I caught at an event. It was a SmackDown Live event. I think he wrestled in a tag team match or something. After the after the show, he got up on the turnbuckle, tossed it into the crowd, and I managed to catch it. So why not put it on display next to all his figures? So there is the John Cena collection. So mercifully, we have finished this entire section guys and another thing I want to mention is all of the this whole box is full of elite Cena's Cena's uh, yeah we, we have more fix-ups and customs I want to do but uh, I'm not gonna drag all those Cena's out so there's all the Cena's there is that whole display and I guess what we can do now is go across the room and cover these right here so let's go ahead and get into these so starting off at the top guys we do have Dolph Ziggler one of my favorite wrestlers in the world today starting off with his elite five going through all his different elites you have some defining moments there when he won the money in the bank when he cashed in 
We have some different looks. You know, when he switched to the longer tights, we have some different customs coming through. We have uh, more of a promo attire there with the jacket and shirt and Converse's. More long tights attires. And then at the end, we have three fantasy attire customs that I've made. Psych, I just made the short shorts version. That zebra print one was made by BEW and Venomine Figs. And then the one on the right was made by my boy Rodney. All, uh, those two on the end are MDT customs. And I think it's pretty cool how you have the Ziggler figures in front of the Ziggler plaque and, you know, all the Ziggler collection right here together. Up next, guys, we have another one of my all-time favorites. We have Jeff Hardy, so we have some customs. We got the shop exclusive Elite 57 entrance grates, some different fix-ups, some different customs into the Elite Series 67 chase variant, regular version and fix-ups. And then we have one of my favorite customs in my collection, the Punisher fantasy attire Jeff Hardy right there which he rocked at the MDT Royal Rumble. If you guys have never seen that, definitely go check out that video. But there is Jeff Hardy. You know you had to put the Jeff Hardys next to the big Jeff Hardy flag. Speaking of Jeff, we have his brother Matt right here. So you go from Jeff down into Matt, you have, you know, Team Extreme Matt into V1 Matt into the different looks of Matt Hardy all the way up to current. I really want some more Jeffs and Matts. Just their looks are pretty unique. Matt, not as much as Jeff. Jeff has had some crazy looks over the years, so you know, you gotta wait and you know, you gotta do some part switching. And his figures are so freaking expensive, guys. So if you wanna make custom Jeff Hardys, you gotta, you know, load up when they're cheaper. Next up, guys, we have the Dead Man. We have Undertaker starting out with his debut there. And then you you know how the Dead Man goes, man. We, we evolved through the times, just like the rest of my collection, it's on a timeline. So we go into Ministry Taker, into the Attitude Era, into the early 2000s, into the mid 2000s, into the later 2000s, and then, you know, more of current day all the way up here to the end, except for these last two. Those are just kind of weirdies there. But the Undertaker collection is growing slowly and steadily. It's something that uh, I, I take pride in. I like the Undertaker collection a lot. They look good over here. I'd like to, you know, make this whole shelf Undertaker, so I need to get some more elites of him. And underneath Undertaker, guys, we do have AJ Styles starting out with the Elite 47. Got a few of those for different customs. Systems. We have his Elite 51, the Network Spotlight. We have the Elite 56, a few of those. Elite 61, I do believe. Going on into the Top Talents, Elite Series 66, a Fantasy Attire, and then the Survivor Series Elite. So, a lot of fix-ups, a lot of customs I'd love to make of AJ, but again, I'm kind of limited on the different fix-ups you can do with these Elite 47s. Need to take the parts and make some different guys or something with them if I'm not going to, you know, make some AJ figures with it. I'm sure if I just acetone some logos, use some decals, maybe paint a little bit on the kick pads, I'm sure I can make some different customs and stuff. Just haven't really looked into it as much, but there's the AJ Styles collection. And then this section is completely blank. I don't know what to put there just yet, but I will figure it out and uh, obviously update you guys once it is time to but that is it for this section across the room so we've covered this section and we have covered the uh, the big old section my favorite part and now we're going to get into the women of my collection and then we have the roster shelves well I forgot to mention this is all the fan mail you guys have ever sent me if you guys have ever sent me fan mail it is here in this section I have any figure or any you know sort of fan mail figure I have put over here Unless it's like a bunch of basics or stuff, these are more of just the ones that stand out. You know, the little mini figurines and stuff like that. I went ahead and plugged it over here. Love this section a lot. Over here we have my SH Figure Arts collection. It's small, but it's my boy Vegeta, my favorite anime character. And then we get into the women. This section is actually brand new. I used to not have the women on display because they were hard to display, but I figured, you know what, screw it. Um, I think they look good all up on there. So, you know, you have the different women. I have my favorites in the middle. Becky Lynch, Bailey, Asuka. Those are my favorite women. Ember, Ember Moon's over there. I need to get her more in the middle, man. What, what are we doing here? We have Charlotte, Alexa. You guys get the deal. You got Terrible, Nia Jax, and Tamina. I do have some duplicates of different women that are still in the drawer. But um, I, I figure, why, why have duplicates? Just go ahead and stick all the ones up here on the shelf. Besides Lita, Lita's the only one that has like duplicates here. You have the Team Extreme Lita, and then you have a Rated R Lita right there. And then we finish off with the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. Absolutely amazing figure. Moving on, guys, we have the roster shelves. You guys know this is the official MDT Vindication roster. You have all the champions, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, Marty Skrull, Shinsuke Nakamura, Adam Cole, AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt, the Wyatt Colt right here all the way through. We got Pete Dunne, Drew McIntyre, El Generico, Samoa Joe, Cesaro, Matt Hardy, Bobby Roode. All the different mid-card talent coming through. American Alpha, Fashion Police, Kurt Hawkins, Jack Gallagher, and Trash Corbin. So you guys can see uh, these would be, you know, if there's different superstars here that could go in a different section, I'd like to have at least one on the, on the roster shelf so I can pick and choose from them and use them for the pick fed. That way I can, you know, have it all uniform here. So there's that roster. And going down, we have the MDT Live roster with the Bloodline. You got the MDT Champion Roman Reigns, the Usos. They're a Bloodline stable. There's Champs. Got the U.S. Champ Jack Swagger. Kevin Owens is the Extreme Champion. Seth Rollins, John Cena, CM Punk, Randy Orton. 
Orton, Edge, Dean Ambrose, Cedric Alexander, Chris Jericho, Velveteen Dream, Jeff Hardy, Dolph Ziggler, Neville, Shelton Benjamin, John Morrison, Bobby Trashley, No Way Jose, Zack Ryder, MVP, Apollo Crews, Christian Heath Slater, Ryback, The New Day, The Dudley Boys, and RVD, who's still on the shelf. I'd like to know down in the comment section below, guys, who has the best roster? Does Vindication have the better roster, or does MDT Live have the better roster? They're pretty much stacked. I think both rosters are absolutely stacked. Whichever one you look at, I think they are absolutely just ridiculously stacked. So, there's both roster shelves. And now, guys, we're finishing up the video with the final two shelves, which are up here, which are pretty much just random, but we'll take you through it anyways before we finish up the video. So I guess we can start off on this bottom one, guys. We have a bunch of customs. We have Tamatanga, Cedric Alexander, Chris Benoit, Sandman, a chomp of the way too tall. You got my boys, the Founding Fathers here, George Washington, Abe Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. Santa Claus, I love this section so much. I think George Washington, that's probably one of my favorite figures in my collection. I just love that so much. With the axe, man, that is just beautiful. But going down, you just have a bunch of random guys. Gold Dutch, you got Rikishi, Crime Time, Bludgeon Brothers. I mean, these are literally just random figures. I didn't want them to be empty, so I just filled them up. And then at the top, we have, you know, more flashback guys. You got Scott Hall, you got Bob Backlund, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair. You know, just a bunch of flashback guys that don't have their own sections. They easily could if I had all their figures, but I just don't. Then you have guys like Boogeyman, Umaga, Big Show. Just a bunch, again, just randomly stuffed up here. Um, I wanted to put some nice figures on the shelf, but I did not, you know, uh, want it to be empty, so I went ahead and plugged them up there. And these are the figures just on display. We also have this big box full, and then we have some basics over there. You also have the crowd and the John Cena's in there, but that is pretty much it for my full WWE action figure display, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know that I got a lot of comments on the last one because on the last display video, I think we only showed this portion of the entire display, but I wanted to, you know, fill, it, fill up the holes in the shelves, update the video, and show you guys, uh, you know, what it looks like now. I would love to know your favorite portion. What's your favorite shelf in here? Do you like the Finn Balors, the Kevin Owens, the John Cena's, the Seth Rollins? Let me know down in the comment section below what figure you love the most out of this collection. Which section of the room do you like the most? You know, which, which shelf do you like the most? I would love to know down below. But thank you guys for watching. If you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. We are posting every single day, you know, updates to the collection, pickups, my thoughts on wrestling, everything in between. Definitely go give us a follow over there. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed any of the stuff you saw in today's video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.